Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. Want to talk to you about the recent Going Ike episode, kayak marsh fishing in southern Louisiana. Man, what, what can I say? You know, kayak fishing is really sweeping across the whole world, um, and I'm really falling in love with it. It's an amazing way to get to places you can't get in a big boat, and it's an amazing way to get at the ground level with the fish. It's just so exciting. And uh, we had a chance to fish in southern Louisiana in the marsh, and you know, our goal was to catch redfish, trout, and flounder. You know, unfortunately, we were a little late for the flounder. We didn't catch any flounder, but we had an amazing time catching a ton of redfish and trout. And I want to talk to you about the bait and the rod that I used. And, um, you know, it was really key. And again, although I'm saltwater fishing, and I'm fishing for a species I normally don't fish for, I used basically the same kind of stuff I'd use for freshwater bass fishing. And it's really cool. And you know, most of the fish we caught on this shoot came on uh, jig heads. And uh, you know, just using uh, a standard jig head, that's, that's a, a VMC a half moon jig head, and attaching um, some gulp, or small swim baits to that jig head. You know, the gulp caught us a ton of fish. A lot of those big trout came on the gulp products, uh, like the gulp shrimp, the gulp shad. Um, and then a lot of them came on just what you'd call a regular little boot tail style swim bait. Um, this particular color, this was the one I actually caught a few of my really big redfish on. This color is called LSU, little purple, little chartreuse in the tail. Um, but we would thread those baits on those jig heads, we would cast them out to these marshy banks and we would keep that bait moving until we started contacting shell. And in this situation, it was oyster shell. And you're going to see throughout the show, you're going to see us hang up a lot and snag. But whenever we did that, you watch, go back and watch, and you'll see that when we got around the shell and these baits started hitting the bottom and snagging up, that's when we caught the fish. You know, those trout and those redfish, just like bass, they like to get on those hard bottom areas and they like to get on those areas that break the current. So we would basically reel these baits real slow until we started feeling the shell and then we'd kind of snap it and pop it out of the shell. And if you look at that bait as it pops out of that shell, it looks a lot like the little croaker minnows, the little cockahoe minnows that are all over the marsh. And the redfish, the trout, and, and earlier in the year the flounder, they're sucking those things up. So mini swim baits, really, really key bait for us. And then, you know, the rod and the reel, I basically just used the same rod that I'd use for small swim bait fishing in freshwater. And I used the Abu Garcia Ike Series rod. It's the 7, 6, medium action, a little bit longer rod. And in a kayak, that longer rod is going to give you longer cast and more control of the bait. You know, when you're lower to the water, you need more leverage. So a little bit longer rod. I used uh, uh, Abu Garcia. Uh, this is the uh, SX30 size. And one of the key parts of this system, especially in the salt water, was braid to a fluorocarbon leader. And um, I used 15 pound uh, braid, a Berkeley braid, to a 12 pound, 100% Berkeley trilene fluorocarbon. For those big redfish around those, those rocks and those pilings and those shells, that was the perfect combination. Let me tell you something, if you've not tried fishing in southern Louisiana for redfish and trout, if you've not tried it in a kayak, please give it a shot. Grab a Hobie and head down to southern Louisiana. You're going to have a blast like we did. Hope you enjoyed the show.